The people living here, unfortunately, aren't as well aware of where they live and what's around them. Philadelphia has a huge history, very much renowned. Northeast Philadelphia, not so much. We've been left out of the mix. We are going to fix that. In ancient times, before the Europeans arrived in America, King's Highway was in existence. It's hard to imagine that uh, what is today uh, a major avenue through Philadelphia 300 years ago was a dirt road. It's very interesting and all kinds of exciting things happened along the highway. The King's Highway is significant to the early development of Northeast Philadelphia. So much of commerce and trade were centered around this one area. The King's Highway is also where George Washington marched his troops through on their way to Yorktown to defeat the British. General Washington came to Frankfurt and everybody was in big celebration mode. We had our independence. Frankfurt Avenue has served as a link from point A to point B. It's the backbone for all the other roads that branched out into Philadelphia and went inland. Some roads that branched off the King Highway were, were almost just as old. Throughout the region, there are roads that are laid out, interestingly, right across where our old trails used to be, where, where the center of Indian uh, activity, where different villages would come together, and these trails stretched all across the, the region. People had to traverse the Pennypack Creek, and the bridge was built so early on as a testament to its significance. The people who signed the Declaration of Independence were invited to a reception just steps away from this building. Frankfurt Road sort of represents in many ways the workshop of the world and how that fanned out all over Philadelphia. Over the last several years, archaeologists have uncovered hundreds of thousands of Native American artifacts along and near the King's Highway. When the area began to be colonized by the Europeans, uh, they kept that trail and then eventually became the King's Highway. It became the platform for just about everything. In this park, you can see something of what uh, this area of the country would have looked like thousands of years ago. The chiefs that met with William Penn selected a spokesman, Taminant, who uh, among our chiefs was able to communicate with Penn who had taken the time to learn the language. Sometimes maybe as Philadelphians we do get a little focused on Center City and I think there's an opportunity to really engage people about what the Northeast is doing, what their history is, and how important it is to the city as a whole. If you travel around the city of Philadelphia, whether it's Holmesburg, it's Mayfair, it's Wissanoming and Taconi, they have that kind of distinct pride. The tremendous depth of history that we have here in the Northeast, particularly in Frankfurt and the other communities, uh, is worthy of preservation. Getting tourists to our region, that requires historians, it requires skilled interpreters, it requires uh, talented tour guides to craft a message and an experience that's meaningful to them. Well, we have to preserve these buildings and historic sites so that we have something to point to. Not a what used to be in that parking lot and what used to be where those condos is. We can't just put in a sign up there is not much of uh, satisfaction. For me, I mean, this is a travesty. I mean, is that there's so much politics involved in historic preservation that, that, that preservation is really forgotten about. Philadelphia had, uh, traditionally had a very bad uh, uh, habit of tearing historic buildings and structures down and putting up gas stations. There are market forces at work that make it often very difficult to keep historic buildings uh, preserved and standing. I think people are, are beginning to realize that there are these gems that we can, with a little bit of effort, bring uh, back. We need more people that are willing to, to, to uh, put houses on the historic register to keep them from being knocked down. Even the, even the Frankfurt Arsenal was on the National Register. National Historic Register does not save a building from demolition. 
Uh, there are uh, so many things about the King's Highway that need to be preserved. Uh, from where I'm sitting, I've seen two and three waves of commercial development at the same site in my own lifetime. It's up to us but to remind people of how much history each neighborhood has. Let's let the city of Philadelphia know that we're 400,000 people strong right here in the Northeast. Right? We have a voice, and your voice is heard by participating civically, being engaged in your neighborhood. People sometimes don't realize the history or they don't care, and it's hard to get the ear of someone that can help you. And I think they're evil little men that grew up and just wanted to tear down buildings. <laughs> Everywhere I look, is the opportunity to reuse an incredible old world city. And every time I see a piece of that city get demolished, it pains me. The resources that are available for preservation purposes, it's drained away by the more, the highly visible sites in old city or in center city. I think it's a real tragedy that so many buildings have been overlooked in Northeast Philadelphia. I think we have an incredible amount of resources in terms of historic buildings here. We're on the process of getting a National Register nomination for the Taconi neighborhood, the distant estate. One of the gravest threats to history is a general indifference to the things that surround you. And you can't afford to lose that. Otherwise, you lose the meaning of what it means to be a resident. If you want to save your neighborhood, if you want to save the historical structures in your neighborhood, or even if you just want to stabilize the prices in your neighborhood, one of the best things you could do is get involved with others in your community through a local uh, nonprofit or, or, or start a little group yourself. So you've got to find somebody, some deep pocket, some benefactor that is going to help you out. We have not been able to find any benefactors. I would call upon the public to honor its past as reflected in this particular area of Philadelphia, the Kings Highway, and which played such a significant role in all periods of American history for its preservation and education so that all will know what happened here. Our, our politicians don't hear us when we scream history. It's just not on their agenda. They really need to start listening to their constituents instead of thinking about, well, you know, what building they're going to tear down. There really would not be a Philadelphia without Northeast Philadelphia. One of the largest challenges that we face with preserving older structures, whether they're residential or commercial, industrial, is that they really need a champion. When you start to strip away a, an incredible built environment, you end up losing the essence of why people found it appealing to move there to begin with. Philadelphia is a great place to raise your family. Philadelphia is a great place to educate our kids. There's a lot of history that people just don't know about. So let's take a walk, let's read a plaque, right, and let's preserve Northeast Philly. Hey Kickstarter, we're the team behind the King's Highway a historic documentary of revolutionary proportions, literally. For the last uh, few months, we've been talking to a lot of experts in the area on the King's Highway in Northeast Philadelphia. And there's a lot of important stuff here that a lot of people just don't know. Along the way, we've discovered some extraordinary buildings, artifacts, real life stories, and overwhelming initiative to help preserve the incredible history of Northeast Philadelphia. It's just insane when you think about the fact that millions of people have visited Independence Hall and the Liberty Bell. But when you ask them if they've heard of the Grand Army of the Republic Museum and Library, the Lower Dublin Academy, or the King's Highway Bridge, which is America's oldest surviving roadway bridge built in 1697, they just don't have a clue. During the Revolutionary War, Generals Washington and Rochambeau came down the King's Highway here in Northeast Philadelphia on their way to Yorktown, Virginia, which literally won us the Revolutionary War. So it's a pretty important area. No documentary has ever truly explored the route of the King's Highway. This film is about how America truly became a free nation because major decisions by our forefathers were made here in Northeast Philadelphia. Additionally, groups of historians and volunteers are helping to preserve the most valuable and significant architectural pieces of our history, and they deserve a ton of credit for doing so. Our award-winning team has already shot several interviews with some influential leaders who hold PhDs on the history of Philadelphia, we've got plenty more lined up. But we are here on Kickstarter because we need your help to finish production. 
We would like your help in making what we consider one of the more important documentaries on our real history here in the Philadelphia area, and Northeast in particular, and we need a little more help in our effort to get over the finish line. We would really appreciate anything anybody could do as far as donations, time, effort, energy, or money. And for your support, you'll get some really awesome perks, like copies of our DVD, our official Explorer t-shirt, a 1687 map signed by our rock star historians, a special thanks to you in the credits, and so much more. And if you can't afford to donate, you can still help us out by telling a friend or family member about our film to spread the word. Thank you for your time, as well as your much needed and appreciated support.